I'm creating skirting for my model railroad layout with no sewing and in under two hours on Ron's Trains and Things right now. Hi, I'm Ron of Ron's Trains and Things, and today I'm installing layout skirting around my model railroad layout to give the layout and the room a more finished look and to hide all of the stuff that is stored underneath my layout. Now this is a project I have wanted to do since even before I started building the expansion to my layout, just so I could hide all of the items that I store underneath my layout. But once I built the expansion and installed the fascia on the lower deck, I was really excited about getting the skirting installed. Well, recently we were having some people over for an event and I decided the time had come to get that skirting in place. The challenge that I faced was that neither I nor anyone or my family has any real sewing skills. So I consulted someone that I know who was a seamstress and an expert on fabric to ask her if she would make the skirting for my layout. Instead, what she did was she gave me some great advice. She told me uh, about a particular fabric, a nylon fabric, that doesn't ravel as easily as most fabrics do, that I might be able to use to create the skirting without doing any sewing, even putting a hem on it. So I decided to give that process a try. And the beauty of this process is it comes with a built-in backup, which I'll tell you more about a little bit later. Well, hey, if you'd like to see more Model Railroad tips, tools, and techniques, be sure to subscribe down below and click the little bell icon so you can catch future videos. But for now, let me show you how I made and installed this fantastic looking skirting in just a couple of hours. This video is brought to you by Midwest Model Railroad. Now with 15,000 square feet and one day shipping, they truly are your one-stop model railroad shop. MidwestModelRR.com, link in the description. My skirting project begins with this rayon nylon fabric. The bottom of my fascia runs pretty consistently at 26 and a half inches above the floor. And this bolt of fabric was 60 inches wide. So it was perfect to make two widths of skirting out of the fabric with about three inches to spare for hanging it. The 28 feet of length on this bolt was almost exactly half of the length of skirting I needed so I bought the entire bolt. The first step in the process was to cut the fabric exactly in half lengthwise. Make sure you have some good sharp fabric scissors for this as lesser scissors will leave you with a ragged edge and lots of frustration. Fiskars are the scissor brand of choice for most who work with fabric and I always keep a pair on hand around the house for such applications as this and I use them in tons of model railroading projects. I'll include a link to these in the Amazon pick of the week in the description below because every household needs a pair. The key to a good cut is to constantly make sure the fabric is folded exactly in half. In most cases that will be true of the fabric on the original bolt. I was able to cut exactly on the crease for this entire bolt. I was afraid this process was going to take a long time, but in fact I cut the entire 9 yards in about 10 minutes. To install the skirting, I used clothespins hot glued to the back of the fascia. I simply applied a solid bead of hot glue to one side of the clothespin and adhered it to the masonite fascia. I used a scrap of styrene about three quarters of an inch wide as a spacer to make sure that the clothespins were fairly consistent in their distance above the edge of the fascia. I started at one end of the layout and glued the clothespins to the back of the fascia. I spaced the pins fairly close together around the outside curves about four inches apart. This helped the fabric to follow the contour of the curved fascia. On the straight sections, I spaced the clothespins about every 12 to 14 inches apart. On the square corners, I glued a clothespin on each side of the corner. I simply worked my way all the way around the layout. For the main layout, I used about 50 clothespins and about 5 quarter inch hot glue sticks. With the clothespins all installed, I started again at one end and began hanging the fabric. 
I put the cut end of the fabric up so that the factory edge was showing. The factory edge has a bit of a ruffled appearance, which looks pretty good to me. I folded the excess fabric back and down at the top to get the length right. The hardest part of this entire process was getting the first few clothespins worth of fabric folded and hung at just the right height so that it was just above the floor, not dragging the floor, but also not showing space underneath the skirt. Once I got the first three or four clothespins started at the right height, the rest of the hanging process went very smoothly. As I said earlier, this process came with a backup plan. The fact that I folded about two to two and a half inches of fabric down at the top means that if in the long run I do not like the look of the skirting without a hem, I can always come back and have a hem put in the skirting and still have exactly the right height to hang. So this is a win-win. I didn't cut the fabric vertically any place, so the only vertical opening at present is where the two halves of the skirt meet under North Yard. I anticipate that I may cut some additional vertical openings later for the ease of access of the items that are under the layout, but I wanted to make sure I had enough material to do the entire layout as well as three sides of the helix base before I cut the fabric. I was honestly amazed at how quickly and easily I was able to complete this project. Start to finish, including cutting the fabric, I installed the entire skirt in about an hour and a half. Personally, I think the skirting gives the layout room a very nice finished look. Well, I am so pleased with the way this skirting looks in my layout room. It was simple to make and install and with absolutely no sewing or sewing skills needed. It looks great and it really dresses up the room and makes it much more presentable. As I said, I completed this project ahead of a family event, my son's high school graduation, because I knew that we were going to have a lot of family and friends over and they were going to want to see the layout. And I received numerous positive comments about how nice the layout room looked. And I know that a lot of that was due to the fact that a lot of the stored stuff was hidden by this nice skirting. So if you're looking for a way to dress up your layout room, this is a fast and easy way to hide some stuff that maybe you don't want to see to really make your layout room look more presentable. Well, be sure and check out my Amazon Pick of the Week and the other valuable links in the description down below. And if you'd like to see how I installed my fascia or some other model railroad content, check out the links on your screen. And be sure and join me on Tuesdays as I bring you even more great model railroad videos. And I look forward to seeing you then. Tim, Lizzie?